The problem a lot of people have today is getting the data because there's a lot of people that are really good at the cloud stuff, but you can't do, you know, no, no matter what kind of magic, no matter how good you are to create and creating cloud applications, if you don't have the data, you're lost. You're screwed. <laughs> My name is John Rinaldi. I'm with Real Time Automation. And I want to talk today about getting data out of factory floor systems, whether it be the waterfalls at, at the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas, whether it be some kind of dairy farm that you have to get data off some kind of cow interface system that's monitoring your cows, uh, whether it, it, it be some kind of uh, proprietary network that's in your plant, you have to, if you can't get, if you can't get the data, you're, you're lost. Uh, so what we do at RTA to help co companies that have these problems is that we have a box that we can customize and we do a lot of this customization. It's part of our 460 product line. And we can customize both sides of this. So if you have, for example, a bunch of ASCII devices that you, you talk to over, or, over RS-485, uh, for example, and you have some kind of weird protocol that sends a dollar sign go out and gets a, 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 a gets a dollar sign run back or dollar sign stop back, you know, which is pretty weird. We can convert that into Ethernet IP or Profinet or, or Modbus so that some higher level system can talk to this. Or we can take that and we could do the same thing. We could take these ASCII devices and we could use, hook them up to AWS or Microsoft Azure. Oh would be another way to do this, or, or even some kind of just want to get the data into Excel. Well, whatever, whatever you need to do, we can do, both, we can do this both sides of this. Sometimes people have at the Bellagio Hotel, for example, in Las Vegas, they, the problem they had is they had a whole bunch of, inside the, inside the water, they have these incredibly big two-ton structures. And what these structures do is they spray water. They have huge pumps. That, spray, that push water out into the sky, as you've probably seen. And they have a drive there that runs those pumps. Those drives are really, really old, and they couldn't find them anymore. But so what they, what they had was they have a PC that runs this, thing, this whole water system, and it, was, it had some kind of custom protocol here to talk to those drives. So they couldn't just slap in an ABB drive and they, or, a, or a Siemens drive or, a, or an Allen Bradley drive into, to, to replace those things. They were trying to find stuff. Well, what we did is we put, so they wanted, they wanted to use this same custom protocol. So we put a box in here that could talk to the PC on the custom protocol, let's put CP over here, and on this side could talk Ethernet IP. So now we put AB drives over in, in here. So now they've got a much better solution that's very maintainable, that's more cost effective. They don't have to be searching the earth to try to find parts to keep these drives running, which is what they were doing before. So that's, an, that's kind of the opposite of this approach where we customize the input side and the, uh, we customize the output side and left the input side with what the proprietary protocol is. So if you're a manufacturer, if, you're, if you've got devices, if you've got a cloud system that needs to get data, uh, we do a lot of this kind of customization. So we're in the, you know, in, in this part of our business is the customization business. And keep, what the big advantage to this stuff is you're keeping the stuff you have today alive. Keep this legacy equipment going for as long as you want. To talk, for, for, for the Bellagio to redo this whole thing, 15 years ago, it cost 32 million. To, to redo their entire control system, they figured it would be $100 million today. But now, because they can just buy these little boxes from us that convert the protocol, boom, they're great. They're all great. In fact, I drew this wrong, and I'm going to kind of, kind of uh, redo this for you here. I do this live, so as you can see, there's, we put a little box inside every one of these things. So our box is actually in the water. This is what the whole thing looks like. It's a big, great big control cabinet that actually goes underwater. So we're in that control cabinet and we convert 
this kind of custom protocol to the Allen Bradley protocol to talk to the drives. So that's the kind of thing we can do. Uh, and we do a lot of this because there's a lot of this old legacy equipment. We're keeping their, their, most of their legacy equipment the same by just adding a little bit of, uh, having a couple of boxes here and there. So it was very, very economical and efficient for them to do this. So we're, we're able to do this. We're able to do this for all kinds of devices. So if you're a manufacturer, if, you're an end if you have an end device and you have some kind of legacy equipment you want to keep alive, we're in the keeping legacy equipment alive by creating custom communication solutions. Give us a call. Talk to one of our application engineers. There's links up below where you can, uh, you can reach us and we'd be glad to help you. My name is John Rinaldi and with Real-Time Automation, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.